Good morning guys, how are you doing? Today is Saturday the 7th of September and I know I normally upload a food shop on a Saturday, Saturday morning specifically, but this week I'm actually not doing a food shop because I have Kerry who I am moving to her student accommodation tomorrow and they are taking stuff out of my pantry and stuff so I want to see what I'm left with when everybody's gone <clears throat> if that makes sense and to do my pantry challenge I need to um, be able to pull my pantry out and there's no point in doing that while we're still trying to pack and get Kerry moved and all that malarkey so today is Saturday and I'm on my way up to my morning client now I'm actually going up, sorry, the sun it's a really, really hazy day right so it's like really low clouds you can't even see the mountains but it's 19 degrees so it's muggy it's hot it's clammy but the sun hasn't broken through the clouds yet but what i say when it does it's going to be it's meant to be a blister of a day to the point where they came out and met Aaron, which is the weather people for ireland have come out and said at the hottest day of the year at the hottest part of the day close your curtains lock down you know make your house so the heat doesn't get in now I would know that from Spain, that's what we did always in Spain. But um, because our houses are built, sorry I have to put on my glass, I can't see. Because our houses are built for the cold, the damp and the wet, because we get like 200, I think they said on average, 222 days of rain a year. So our houses are built to be damp proof, keep the heat in, they're not built for warm days. So when we do get a, a warm day, it's, it's very hard to cool our houses. So they came out with advice and went, especially today, the 7th, it's going to get up to I think 24, 25 degrees. And they were like, if the sun is directly hitting your house, close your curtains, shut down your blinds, try and keep your house as cool as it can. I thought, wow. Anyway, so today I'm heading up to my morning client. Now it is just coming up to quarter to 12 because we've actually the service I work for is actually having a barbecue today and we've all been invited down for it because it is recovery month and they're doing a barbecue so I said to my client I said do you want to go down you don't have to because sometimes by the end of the week their social battery does be well and truly drained and it's going to be a lot of new people that they wouldn't they wouldn't know so I was like do you want to go down and she was like I think we will okay she says we'll only stay an hour I said as soon as you want to go you just give me the nod and we'll go and she was like okay so we're going to go down there I think um my Thursday client is going to meet us down there and a guy I usually see on a Wednesday and a Friday I think he's going to meet us there as well with his support workers so it might actually turn out to be quite a nice afternoon so that's where we're heading I have Kerry, God bless her, up to her eyes, trying to sort clothes. And I did say to her, I said, look, whatever you don't want to bring, leave there. I will sort. If they need to be donated, just leave them in a pile on the floor and I will donate them for you on your behalf. So she was like, oh, okay. So yeah, so that's what poor Al Kerry is trying to sort through at the moment and get all her bits um, organised. And then tomorrow afternoon after I do my morning client, myself and Kerry are actually going to drive down as far as my mum's because she has some of Kerry's older stuff that she would have left when she was living there and then when she goes in now to my mum's, Kerry said, Mum, I need to sort through it. There's an awful lot of stuff that I don't need or want. So I was like, yep, yeah, no probs. And then my mum went and bought her a mattress topper. So we have to go out and collect that. And I would say food parcel. I'm not sure, but I would say so. Right, I will go, I'm just at my morning client's house, so we will go and I will collect her up and we will head to the barbecue and I will talk to you guys in a bit. Alright guys, it is many, many hours later. It is now five past four and we left her house at about, I don't know, quarter to twelve. So we went to the barbecue, had a burger and I had a solid they had like little rolls and I made it up with salad stuff in it because I really didn't want a sausage or a hot dog. I just wanted something nice and tasty. So I, in my roll I had up, I had cheese, coleslaw, lettuce and tomato. Really, really tasty. Um, but yeah, we're only home. 
then on the way home we stopped for a ice cream um, it's like a tub it's a 99 but in a tub um, and we stopped and had that so I'm only after dropping her off as I said it's five past four now my social but we went to the, the barbecue was full of people we didn't know and um, there was a couple of people there obviously that we did but it was a big step and going around saying hello to people and yeah it was a big and it was it, it, <coughs> excuse me it was um socially it was a lot today so we had one little break meltdown I would say breakdown it wasn't break. it was a little meltdown just she got very overwhelmed at one point but uh, yeah it wasn't too bad so yeah so I'm home I am absolutely exhausted absolutely exhausted and um, it's 24 degrees out so eating and then sitting in heat especially when you're tired like that at a social event I'm ready that's what I was just saying to her when I dropped her off went into the house and stuff um, I was saying to her, I said, I am knackered. She was like, yeah. She said, I could do with a nap and I was going to be here. Not the only one. But then on the way home, we stopped in deals and we got, she buys this candle. It's gorgeous. It's like a pink, but it's quite a big candle. Um, and it's three wicks and it's sunny, I think, a fiver, maybe seven fifty. She loves it. So we went in, we got one of them and she got, what else did she get? Oh, she got um, some crisps for tonight. And she's watching a movie. She says, I don't think I'd be eating. I'll only have picky stuff. I said, okay, that's fine. So, um, yeah, we're all tired after today. Um, oh, they had a live band as well. A live band, a live man with his guitar. And he sang, like, pub sing-along songs, which were nice. Like, they would have been songs that her father would have listened to. Um, so she was singing along to that, and I was singing along to it. I think we even may have had a bit of a dance. Um... But there was other people who attend our service as well there, which was nice because they got up dancing with me as well. I'm one of these people, I will dance. Especially when I I don't know the people. <laughs> I'll make a holy show myself, no problem. But yeah, no, I like the music and you could sing along to it. It was nice and like he did Simon and Garth Funkel, he did some of the Dubliners. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it was nice. So we had that and we ate, uh, sorry I had to open the windows, I'm melting here. And then on the way home we stopped and as I said we got a, a, an ice cream, it was like a 99, but you could have it in 99 in a cone or you could have it in a tub. So we opted for a tub because it was so hot the ice cream was melting pretty fast. So I said to her why don't we get it in a tub. So then she was, she was a bit cheeky now she was, she, she said to me, she said well if we're getting it in a tub but we get some sprinkles on top. I said oh okay. So and then, she put, oh yeah and then um strawberry sauce I felt about seven again sitting there with my tub of ice I was as happy as a pig in you know what yeah it was a, it was actually a lovely day and it was a nice day where I wasn't there as her key worker we were two people out at a barbecue having fun which was nice I like those type of days when I'm not having to not that I don't have to key work that sounds wrong because obviously no matter what happened I'm there as a key worker but when we're more out as friends you know and we were there was um you could get like we well, could get to your coffee and there was drinks there was cans of drinks there and stuff so like the when we went in i went up and i got her a seven up me coke and then then when they were empty she went up and got them and you know it was just a nice social relaxed afternoon but i am exhausted i am absolutely exhausted so the reason this video was because i normally upload a shopping video and I'm not doing that today I will do a big one next week I am going to spend 130 euro and do a big shop but it's going to be more of a restock of my meats because I want it my pantry's all over the place because I said Kerry hopefully will have packed her little um food bag oh excuse me so I need to start when I know what's there or when I can at least pull everything out without pulling everything out with fear of it getting packed away and sent to another house yeah, go home and see how poor old Tony's coping with the, the heat. I wouldn't say he's well, Karen said he's doing good because he's been upstairs in my room. He gave me a little, I just said, text him and said, Look, we make sure the dog just top up his water again. And um, so he was like, Yeah, so he went around and he said, Yeah, no, he's fine. He said, Your room, because the sun goes off, 
my bedroom. It rises into my bedroom. But by sort of half eleven, it's gone off my window and it's fine. So my room really starts cooling down from that time. So I had all the windows open this morning. And he says, your room's lovely and cool. I put on the fan and the dog just stayed in your room napping most of the day. I said, yeah, which means it's going to be hyper tonight. But that's okay. We'll take him and we'll wear him out before then. Right, I'm nearly home. I'm going to go ahead and dine for a cup of coffee. We get a cup of coffee, a big glass of water, and we'll see where the rest of the day brings us. Sir, are you okay? How are you feeling about this heat? Hmm? Can I have two minutes of your time? No? Is this what you want? Ay, ay, ay. Is this what you're after? This is what he's after. Right. Oh, hang on. All right, guys. So, good evening. <coughs> Stop it. Try and talk. Um, good evening. So, I came home, had a nap. Mr. T, my room, as I said to you, was um, lovely and cool. And I went to, I said to Carl, I said, I am sweating. Um, I said, I'm literally just going to go up and lie on the bed and just relax. Just cool down and stuff. Changed into a light top. Um, so, uh, yeah. But I came up and I lay down the bed. Mr. T lay on the other side of the bed. Um, between the two of us, we probably had about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. So it was grand. Sorry, I'm actually going to play with him for a minute and then I'll come back and talk to you. Okay, guys, so I have relocated downstairs. Mr. T is all worn out. You gonna lie down the floor? It's nice and cool. Anyway, um, I've just put on the pot so I can do up some pasta. I'm just gonna have plain pasta, I think, with a garlic butter. And Carl's gonna have the spaghetti bol the bolognese that was left over from yesterday with his dinner. So, yeah, it's very, very warm. It's still 22 degrees and it's what? 10 past seven at night. Not good lads, not good. So that is the reason I'm putting up this video is because I've no food shop and I won't have one till next Saturday. The only good thing is next Saturday I will have gone through my pantry, will have gone through my pantry, seen what we need and we're only going to shop that once in that, well, next week and then we'll be shopping the pantry going forward for all our meals. Just try and save a few bob. That means I can save three weeks. Well, I won't save three, four weeks, will I? Because I'll have to buy milk and bread. But you know what I mean. Like, we'll save, hopefully, a chunk. So, fingers crossed, anyway. That's that's the aim of the game. So, I'm going to leave it there, lads. Appreciate you watching this instead of the food haul. I know most of you, a lot of you look forward to that. But I promise there'll be a big one next week. All right, lads. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.